Big news on Workhorse Group Incorporated today. Analysts are predicting a drop, but is there more to the story? And what's that price target they're teasing? Stick around to find out. Okay, let's take a look at the news. Workhorse Group Incorporated, trading under the ticker WKHS, saw a minor surge of one cent during its recent trading session, reaching a high of $0.8055 and closing at 79 cents. But here's where things get interesting. A report from August 17th highlighted Workhorse's intent to increase its authorized shares. This move has raised several questions, and the company has even released an infographic to address some of these concerns. Now, if we look at the stock's performance, it's been a roller coaster. Over the past week, WKHS stock has lost about 12.14% of its value. Zooming out a bit, in the last three months, it's declined by 17.5%. And over the past six months, a whopping loss of 63.46%. Year to date, the stock has plummeted by 48.07%. These numbers might seem alarming but let's dig deeper. The market cap for WKHS stands at $164.56 million, with a significant number of shares outstanding. And when we talk about trading volumes, WKHS is definitely active, with its recent trading day seeing a volume of over 8.7 million shares. Now, what are the experts saying? The current consensus on the target price for WKHS shares is $2.33 per share. This rating is leaning towards a buy, but it's not a strong recommendation. Roth Capital, for instance, has kept their opinion on the stock as neutral since their last recommendation in early August. But here's the kicker. The average true range, ATR, for Workhorse Group Incorporated is set at 0.09. This, combined with other financial ratios, gives us a hint about the stock's volatility and potential future movement. The stock's recent performance shows a decline of 35.3% over the last four weeks, and the Relative Strength Index, RSI, indicates that the stock might be approaching oversold conditions. This could mean potential buying opportunities for investors looking for an entry point. Now, let's talk fundamentals. Workhorse Group Incorporated's operating margin and net margin are in the negatives, which is concerning. However, when we look at the company's liquidity data, things seem a bit more promising. With a quick ratio of 1.50 and a current ratio of 2.10, the company seems to be in a decent position to cover its short-term liabilities. Institutional ownership is another factor to consider. Big names like Vanguard Group, Inc. and BlackRock Incorporated hold significant shares of WKHS. And let's not forget Berkshire Hathaway, Inc., which holds a substantial portion of WKHS stock. So, what does all this mean for the stock's future? While the short-term outlook might seem bleak, the company's moves to increase its authorized shares and its current liquidity position might offer some hope for long-term investors. Alright, now let's discuss the upcoming trading session surge signals for WKHS. On the upside, we have $0.80, cents, $0.85, cents, and $0.88. Cents. On the downside, the numbers are $0.72, cents, $0.69, cents, and 64 cents. These signals are crucial as they indicate potential price points that could confirm a directional move for the stock. If WKHS approaches or breaches these levels, we could see significant momentum in that direction. For instance, if the stock breaches the 88 cents mark, it could indicate a strong upward move. Conversely, falling below 64 cents might signal a further decline. As always, keep a close eye on these levels and trade wisely. That's it for today's deep dive on Workhorse Group Incorporated. If you found this analysis helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more insights. And hey, if you've just subscribed, drop a comment below saying subscribed, and we'll do our best to respond. Before you go, what are your thoughts on WKHS's future? Let's get a discussion going in the comments. Until next time, happy trading!